Greetings in the name of Yahuwah and his son Yahusha Mashiach. My name is Malak Shalomo. I'm going to do a trade recap I did on the, the ES today, ES Futures. Um, the time is 6, um, 4 to the 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, it's the 2nd of December 2023. And let's jump into this here. Um, so from the, the um, ETH overnight we had this preliminary stop forming here at around a little after six in the morning right there uh, just before seven right so we created this preliminary um stop then we had oh man wait 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 okay cool let me take this off right right then we created the selling climax basically right here just before the open which created the automatic rally in the open right we established the ib high at 47.89.75 so that was the automatic rally right there during the the course of the rth open we established this secondary test here at um 47.74 which is the ib low and from that phase we had now entered into phase B. So phase this was all this was phase A, phase B, going up to the up trust, breaking out of the top of the automatic rally, which is also the IB high. And after we created that up trust, we came back down into the range. And now I was looking for a secondary test, another secondary test here at this level and a possible bounce, right? Now, if we don't get a secondary test here, this is falling, going into phase C now where we're creating this thermal shakeout, right? So this thermal shakeout is a fast breakdown of the, the lows of the range, which is at the secondary stop or the selling climax. And you get this flush down and you get that immediate reversal. It's a fast reversal, right? So in these trades here, this is also lining up with this lower deviation um, VWAP band right here and S3, right? That's floor pivot S3 at 47.63.56. So when you see it's all correlating where we're coming down to this S3 level, this lower deviation um, support line on the VWAP, we're, we're getting a change in character here. Buyers are coming in, right? So I was looking at bookmap for the buyers coming in. So I took two entries here, one at 47.68 and roughly one at 47.69.25 or something like that, right? And I was looking to target um, VWAP because usually when you get support at this lower deviation band here, you usually come back to VWAP, right? So I was looking to target VWAP, but then I started trailing my stop up a little bit. When we got these little pullbacks here, so I stopped out at 47.79.50 or something like that. So that's basically the setup right there. It's a thermal shakeout. It's a reversal play where you get um, you get like a fast reaction after they shake out these stops right here. You get a fast reaction buying and squeezing coming back up to to um, create like an uptrend within the range, right? So I'm looking for this here to possibly maybe retest these levels around VWAP 4784. Or if not, this will be the retracement right here. And we continue out of the range and probably retest to, to go back to where we came from um, up on these levels here. Let me see. Up to back up to like the buying climax here that I have. This is a one hour chart um, levels. So possibly back up to like at least the open 4817, somewhere around here, buying climax up trust after um, distribution at 4841, basically to retest these highs. You know what I'm saying? So all of this here was like a little reaccumulation. It's looking like we're selling today, like it kind of sold off. But basically, it was a accumulation um, um, campaign that they they did right here, right? So that's how I was looking at it and caught that reversal. 
Um, let's see here. Right, so this is on Ninja Trader. This is my execution platform. So took the trade here at 47.68, added to the position here at 47.69.25, closed out here at 47.79.50. 1087.50 is the profit on the day for that trade right there. So um, I took some snapshots of that, and logged that into like my um my strategy builder. And um, I'll just be going over like the little details of it and taking screenshots as well of how bookmap looked when I took these trades here, right? So you can see that the sellers, this is something I look for, a big selling, big um, buying to recuperate, creating um, higher lows, big buying again, Retracements creating higher lows, big buying on the, the top side on the ask. We got the retracement here again, and then big buyers taking it back up, right? So in further development of this strategy, this is um, the screenshot that I'll be looking for when the play is developing, um, like a next time, when I'm looking at the chart, I'm looking for the same kind of setup in a turmoil shakeout. You want to see the big buyers coming in, taking control, creating these um, these consistent higher lows. And then you get the breakout. And you want to see the big buyers breaking out the, the top of, of that little range right there. Right? And that's where we got that big sweep to the upside. Stops and Q buy. All right, y'all, so it's my Lak Shalomo. That was my little trade breakdown. And um, I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Y'all trade safe and stay blessed.